everyone, I'm Michelle Smith and welcome back to my channel. I have a spring DIY for you today. In today's crafting adventure, I'm going to show you how to make this absolutely gorgeous honeybee wreath. I'm so excited to share this method with you because I made this wreath using one roll of your standard 10 inch deco mesh. That's right, you heard me one roll of standard deco mesh and the fact that i found this deco mesh on sale at joann's for 3.99 a roll makes it even sweeter i made this wreath using the poof method and filled in with the leftover mesh using the curl method this makes for a beautiful base for you to build your wreath with in this tutorial i will show you step by step how to create this beautiful wreath let me show you how to make it here is a list of the tools and materials I used to complete the project. For your convenience, I've also included a detailed list in the description box below. Let's get started. You will need a 14 inch wreath form that you can get from Dollar Tree. You'll also need a package of chenille stems from Dollar Tree. I'm going to be using the white ones. You get 45 pieces in a pack and you'll need about 18 of them. You're also going to need some 10 inch decorative mesh. I picked this up from Joann's. It was on sale for $2.99. Uh, it regularly retails for $9.99. So what I did was I needed some jute colored mesh and I got on my phone and I have Michael's and Hobby Lobby and Joann's apps on my phone. So I got on each of those to find out who was having a sale and Joann was the winner. So I went over there and grabbed uh, several rolls of this and another one that I love. So we're going to be using this today and this is 10 inch by 30 feet which is 10 yards. We're going to turn the Dollar Tree wreath form into a working wreath form and all that means is that we're going to attach pipe cleaners to it. If you see that listed that it's a working wreath that just means the form comes with the pipe cleaners already attached. You will need 18 pipe cleaners and all we're going to do is attach them to the frame at each crossbar. So we're going to go around the inside first. So at each crossbar, you want to attach it on the inside. Just pull the pipe cleaner up so that it is the same length and pull it down and give it a good twist or two. You will do the same thing at the crossbar to the two bars on the outside. Again, pull up so that they're even. Pull down tight and give a twist or two. Then on the two bars on the outside, in between the crossbars, you will attach an additional pipe cleaner. Pull that down. So that's what your pipe cleaner should look like. At each crossbar, you should have one on the two bars on the inside and one on the two bars on the outside. And then in between each of the crossbars, you should have one in the middle on the two bars on the outside for a total of 18 pipe cleaners. I have all of my pipe cleaners or chenille stems attached to my wreath frame and I am ready to start attaching the deco mesh. So I've unwrapped my deco mesh. Take the end of your deco mesh and scrunch it all together. Now I personally like to start on the inside of my wreath form and work my way out. So just grab one of those pipe cleaners, place those ends in, pull down nice and tight, 
and give it a twist or two. We want to make sure that's nice and secure so it doesn't pull out while we're working. And then you'll need something to measure with. I'm just going to use a ruler. Now you want to start here where um, you tie it on at the end of your ruler and you want to measure to 10 inches. Pinch at 10 inches, go to the next pipe cleaner on the inside, place where you had pinched it inside, pull the pipe cleaners nice and tight, and give it a twist. And open up your poof. You're going to do that all the way around until you get back to where you started. If you enjoy craft tutorials, please consider sticking around by hitting the subscribe button. And if you hit the notification bell, YouTube will let you know every time I post new content. And I do post new content every week. Okay, so I'm back where I started. So I have pinched at 10 inches and I'm going to go place that right into those pipe cleaners where I started, but I'm going to open them up. Keep the ends in there that you started with then place it right over the top. Pull tight again and tighten it down with a twist or two. Then you want to drop down to the pipe cleaner that's on that same crossbar that's on the outside. Just pull it down flat and then pull it nice and tight and do a good twist. You're going to measure at 10 inches all the way around the outside and hit each pipe cleaner until you get all the way back to where you started. As you're going through and opening up your poofs through your wreath, you want to make sure to pull those pipe cleaners up so that they are easy to find. But I have used half a roll of my deco mesh and this is the coverage I have. Don't worry, we're going to beef up that base. We're going to use the rest of the roll to do that. So set this aside. For the rest of the roll of the mesh, we're going to cut it and do the curl method to fill in. And we want to get approximately 18 pieces out of it. So you'll need to measure this at about eight inches. Now you can cut this with a rotary cutter, which is my preference, or you can always cut it with a good pair of scissors. Either works. This little rotary cutter I got from Dollar Tree and I have made more than a dozen wreaths with it and I don't have any issue with it at all. I'm very happy with it and for a dollar it is well worth the price. So somewhere between eight and nine inches. Go ahead and cut. If you get a little less than 18, that's okay. Um, we can kind of hide that. But you want just enough so that you can get one or two good rolls in that. So we can do that. You'll want to cut the rest of your mesh between eight to nine inches in length. The ribbon that we're going to use today is some uh, gingham or black and white check. This one I believe I got at uh, Dollar General for $2. I don't have a lot of this. I only have nine feet. And then I'm also going to use this. It's a yellow background with some black polka dots trimmed in black. This one I picked up from craftoutlet.com. This one I also picked up from craftoutlet.com. This is two and a half inch wired edge ribbon. I really like all the bumblebee on it. And this one is a one and a half inch wired edge. This one's two and a half inch. Dovetail your ends. And all I do to dovetail my ends, I just fold it in half 
and cut at an angle down to the corner and that gives you a really pretty dovetail. You will need a total of six of the bumblebee ribbon, six of the black and white ribbon, and 12 of the yellow and polka dot ribbon. Now that I have the rest of my mesh and my ribbon all prepared, we can finish filling in the base. Now I'm going to start on the inside ring. You want to take one piece of the mesh that you cut, roll that up. Just need to go around a couple times. If you roll it too tight, what happens is the ends on the inside stick out and then you can cause fraying that way. I use these little clips and I clip it to hold my shape. Then for the first bundle, I'm going to use one of the bumblebee and one of the yellow. Because the yellow is smaller, it goes on top. Find your center, place that over the center. Then go ahead and scrunch the center together nice and tight. Then take that and place it in one of the center pipe cleaners. Pull down real tight and give it a twist. You place it inside and then I kind of pull everything down and out. You can go back and fluff once we get all of the ribbon in. Then on the next pipe cleaner, You'll do a curl. One of the black and white, and I really like this. This feels more like a linen or a burlap. And this is, feels more like fabric as well. And put those two together. Place that in the center and scrunch. Place that in your next pipe cleaner. Then you can go back and you can fluff them out and adjust your ribbons how you like. At that time, you'll want to make sure that's fully twisted down. Give it a couple more twists, trim it, and then fold the ends down facing the back. Okay, so I'm going to go in. I'm going to hit all of my pipe cleaners on the inside and then move to the outside and work my way around and do the same thing. I have all my ribbon in. I'm very happy. Around the center, I hit every pipe cleaner and I alternated the ribbon. Everyone got the yellow with the polka dot and then every other either got the bumblebee or the black and white. When I moved to the outside, I did every other one with the ribbon. And when I placed it, I just tried to alternate so that they wouldn't all be next to each other, but you are gonna have some that are next to each other. So I did a total of 12 of the yellow and polka dot, six of the bumblebee and six of the black and white, cut at 11 inches. Now every pipe cleaner, whether I added ribbon or not, got a curl. And I was surprised I still have a little bit left. So if you needed to go in and add a couple more curls in a few places, you can do that. Now I have all of my ribbon pulled out from the center and there's a reason for that. I've also pulled all of my curls out. I'm going to be using this sign and it's a rather large sign. So as you can see, when I lay it down, it completely covers the center. So there's no need to have anything there. You're not gonna be able to see it. To prep your sign, you're going to need some floral wire. My preference is the silver because you can use this on pretty much anything and it usually will fade away and you can't see it. This sign that I got from craftoutlet.com, this was $6.95. This is a really nice heavy duty sign. And this is, let's see, it is 12 inches in diameter. So I really loved the design on this. I absolutely loved it. I just had to get it. 
And like I said, it was $6.95 at craftoutlet.com. Now to attach this, it already has a hole at the bottom and at the top. I took about uh, a 12 inch piece of floral wire, ran one through the hole and one over the top, pulled it tight and twisted. So now I have two pieces of wire at the top and two pieces at wire, of wire at the bottom so that I can attach this to my wreath. And then all you do is find your placement and then you feed the wire through the deco mesh to the metal frame and attach it to the frame. I got my sign on. Now when you're placing your sign, you want to do your best to attach it to one of the crossbars. That way your sign isn't going to move. Uh, also, if you do a crossbar at the top and a crossbar at the bottom, you know you've got it centered. And then at the crossbar at the top, attach another pipe cleaner and use this as your hanger. Now I showed you I still had a little bit of the uh, deco mesh left over. I had enough to cut about four more pieces and I have gone in and added the three on this fourth one. I wanted to show you, you just simply roll it up, take half a pipe cleaner, scrunch it in the center and wrap it around, pull it to the back and give it a good twist. And then you can go place that wherever you feel you need a little extra fluff. So, and I've been putting them right around where the sign is because I wanted to see a little bit more of the deco mesh. I really like this deco mesh. This is a Joanne fabric. It's their name brand. And I really like it. It's nice and thick and it is easy to work with. So you just feed it to the back, wrap it around, cut off any excess pipe cleaner, and then tuck your ends up forward. And there you go, we're all done. I'm really pleased with how it turned out. Now if you would like to put a nice big bow on this, go right ahead. But I think that it is plenty busy enough and has enough color and texture to it that it looks great just the way it is so I'm not going to put a bow on mine. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's tutorial. If you did please give me a big thumbs up and show me some love in the comments. This really does help support my channel. It lets YouTube know that I have content that's worth watching. Thanks so much for stopping by. You know it's always a pleasure to see you. I hope everyone is staying happy, healthy, and strong. You have a great day and I will see you next time.